Hi all and welcome into this iRacing video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a hot lap in the BMW M8 GTE around Interlagos. Now I've only just purchased this track this morning but that's not to say I don't know it. I uh, recently featured the track in my 700 sub special recently uh, where we drove the old Ferrari, um, was it the 2004? Uh, but I digress, it was great fun. Um, I've done this track extensively in R Factor 2. Uh, and all the previous F1 games going back for quite a while, ever since it was added to the calendar. I love this circuit. It's one of my favourites. Um, I say that a lot, but it is a fantastic circuit. It's got a bit of everything. Okay, so the lap time I set was a 129.625. Um, that's the time I'm going to be showing you and analysing. So up first, I will let you see a lap with no overlays, just cockpit view, so you can get a feel for yourself, analyse yourself break it all down and make sure you understand exactly the um, where I'm hitting everything. After that, after that lap's done, I will go through it with you uh, with the throttle map overlay, brake map overlay. We will talk about every apex, things I've learned, speed I'm carrying, mistakes that I've made, time that you could gain from this time. I'm no alien. Um, I've only had um, a few hours myself to work on this combo and I've just been coming from IMSA where I had a custom setup on the BMW. So getting back to the fix has been... Um, you know, interesting, but uh, that's all good. Okay, I will disappear out the way. I'll let you watch the full lap uninterrupted, and then we'll um, analyze it from there. Okay. Okay, now we will go through the lap. Take into consideration for a track like this, the um, the main straight is huge. So your exit from your previous lap does also help. So keep that in mind. You know, it can be worth a chunk of time here. So if um, there is no way I could have set this lap time with a poor exit on the end of the uh, last bend. But we'll talk about that bend when we get to it. Okay, main straight time. So obviously you're going to be flat on the throttle. You're looking for that 50 marker. And let's have a look. I start applying the brake. I would say just as the 50 signs drop in into my view. So let's call that the 70. Let's say 70 just before. I'm applying about 60% brake. Let's watch that through. And I start bringing the trail braking down to almost none here. And I'm starting to... I double blip on the throttle. That's just because the car's pulling round and I'm quite happy with the direction. So I'm trying to give, you know, a little bit more momentum to carry into the bend. Now it's very important to get on the apex for this bend. It's, um, you need to be as far left as possible for the following bend after. So let's just watch that through again. About the 70 board, 50% brake and reducing down to just enough to trail brake. We start getting on the throttle. We get up to 100% throttle at this point, but I'm going to be easing it back down because you're now going to need to be snapping over to the right to make the following apex. So as you can see there, I quite nicely um, um, brought the throttle down and then got back on the power. Um, let's watch it through the exit. Hug this next apex and keep hugging it. Keep the throttle flat down. Now, don't ask for too much from that apex. You want to keep it around the middle of the apex 
any farther to the right and you're going to struggle to make this apex any further to the left and the car's going to pull you and unsettle the car so let's just watch the exit one more time so you can be quite greedy here these last three bends is about the exits take that in consideration so the first of this s bend entrance as long as you're on the mark that's important it's about your exit speed not the entrance speed all the entrance speed that increased is going to do is make the following two to hook up that little bit harder so hug this apex and then gradually head out to the far side apex being careful that the apex almost cuts into grass here so just um be careful to stay left you don't want to catch your rear right on there which i've done a few times okay this is a nice straight ignore the 200 board somewhere between the 100 board and this concrete so i would say just before the concrete we'll see where i break on this particular lap now keep in mind here you'll see the track bows out a little bit so if you're coming here and you break about here you can find yourself <laughs> which i've done as well i say uh, this i don't remember this on this on the other uh, sims i've no uh, i've been running but it's here on i racing so just be careful so let's have a look at the braking marker Okay, so we start applying brake a little bit further. Well, here you go. So I would say just as I'm hitting the 100 board, but I'm applying it nice and slowly. I never get more than 60% breakdown. Apex again. This track's got nice big apexes. Um, the, it will pay to be on them because you widen the track, you open it up, you make it easier on yourself. And once again, I'm going to repeat myself a lot here. Entrance speed just hurts sure if you can carry a bit more i'm not saying deliberately be slow but be mindful your exits matter so much here there's a lot of straights let's get through it so i'm a little bit slow on the throttle here but this curb can unsettle you they uh increase in height on the left so i start easing off the brake we're off the brake here and as we do we swap for the throttle i'm up to 60 70 100 i get a little squirmy there on exit as you can see the wheel down the bottom so I'm just making sure to catch that full speed all the way through here. So all you want to do here is go from apex to apex. Nice and simple. I'll only show you one more time. This is uh, this bit simple stuff. As long as you hook it up here, use this apex and run off to straighten up the car. Come over to this apex. Keep it flat in the floor. You don't need to head too far to the right. Now, braking marker up here can be a little tricky. There's not a lot um, track side that can help. But this uh, Marshall booth, should we call it? um it's a good ballpark so stay left look for that and let's see on this lap where we break so yep to the left of me is the marshall booth so let's see it come into view you can see it's there on the left so we apply about 60 percent break again i missed the apex a little bit here um but this is a double apex it's the second apex that's super important because the car is going to be drifting out to the left you'll see uh, you can probably see on the track map what's going on here and you're going to need to keep it over to the right so do a better job than me get onto this apex a little bit more i apply a lot of throttle but i'm modulating the throttle to make sure i hit this second apex i'm quite greedy here but b interlagos it doesn't it doesn't hurt to be greedy on the apexes and as you can see even with me making that second apex i am getting proper wide onto this apex let's watch that in full speed once again said i'm going to repeat myself the entrance speed if i'd have put much more entrance speed into this entrance here it would have been harder to hit the second apex which would have sent me out wider which would have resulted in a slower lap time so exit speeds are more important hug the first apex hug the second apex as much as you can be chucked out onto the second one now you need to get the car straightened up pretty quick you can see i'm modulating the throttle quite a lot there i'm off the brake in a moment there you go as soon as the car's straight and you're happy, you're going to need to start braking the straight line. You don't want to be braking while you're out on this curb and you're turning the wheel, you know, 40 degrees to the right. You're going to have a bad day. So straighten the wheel out. Get all the way down to first gear. Get over the apex. It's no cut. Um, I probably could have gotten the apex a little bit more here. And I'm on the throttle literally as I enter it before I'm even off the brake. So we're using trail braking here just to get the car turned around as much as possible. Let's just watch that in real time down to first gear all over the apex open it up and then once you're comfortable try and get up to full throttle but more importantly again <laughs> making this apex on the left because this is a tight left and we're already turning to the right so it's a case of getting your car to the right as much as you can but not too much then shuffling over to the left 
I didn't do the best job here, but I was pretty happy. You can use first on the exit. I short shift because of um, the bumping on the curbs and um, it's you just got to be careful on the throttle. So I find second gear is a little bit easier to exit. So let's watch that throw. There you go. So we're full throttle. Get over to the left once you're nice and straight. Braking zone wise, there's not really anything on the track, I'm afraid. But um, just judge the distance to the apex on the right. We have this tree on the left. So I would say, yeah, just as... Oh no, I'm on the brake a little bit earlier than I thought. So I'm on the brake here with a split in the walls on the left. Just after this split in the wall, let's have a see. Brake goes down now. Yep, perfect. Okay, the split in the wall. I thought it was a little bit later. Okay, down to first gear. Much like the bend we just did. Eager over the apex. As soon as you can straighten up the car and get on that throttle, do because it's a long section down to the last bend. Well, there's a slight bend in between, but it's a nothing bend. Okay, so let's just watch. Trail breaking in because there's a you want to get a lot of turn out of this bend. We want to be done with it as soon as possible and onto the throttle. There we go, hundred throttle. Head over to the right just so we can make it easy for this next bend. I won't need to slow that bend. Just keep the car nice and smooth so you make this second apex. There you go, nice and easy. Now this is the bend I'm talking about. This isn't just important now. It's an important on the lap before because um, that's how I got this hot lap was acing. Oh, acing. I'm no alien. Uh, doing as best as I can here. Um, braking marker wise, I would love to tell you there's one. When the curb changes to the green, about here where you see in this shadow, uh, or mark, whatever it is, unfortunately there's not really a, um, there's nothing I can point out on track that's going to help you. So just practice makes perfect here, I'm afraid guys. But about a car's length past the change from the curb to here. So imagine your BMW front here, rear here. That's going to be about what you want to do. You want to get down to second gear and you want to be very smooth on input. This is a very important bend. It's a lot of straight after this. Uh, so hooking up this bend is important. All about the exit. Uh, I don't care how slow do you go into it. You'll see. Easy on the brakes. We want to get up over that curb. Get the car as straight as possible. I possibly could have done better here. Uh, as I say, I'm no alien. I'm not the best here. Just doing what I can, helping out. Okay, so braking wise, let's just see if I was right. So let's see where the curb changes. Okay, the curb changes there. And yeah, about a car's length afterwards. We get down to that 60% brake. I ease the brake down. I start trying to blip onto the throttle, experimenting. There we go, now we're full. And we can watch this run through. Stay to the left. Don't hug the left too early because we want to be left later rather than early in the bend. Um, up to you how you run this pit. It's no off track. You can run down the pit lane i wouldn't recommend using the entire pit lane because it's gonna be bad practice because in the race you're um if you do that and catch a car entering the pit you you'll be protested i'm sorry it's it's uh it's not part of the track i use some of it if you never use some of it someone's going to use it against you so just you know let the guy behind know you're uh not gonna be taking it okay so get over to the left as you can see i do jump into the pit but i'd like to think i make it quite clear i'm not going to be pitting because I don't think that would be a valid pit anyway. So I just turn left, and because it's my hot lap, I stay left. But obviously, you want to be middle of the track for your um, for your races. Um, so, yeah, I hope that helped. I hate to keep banging on about exits, because obviously we always hear slow in, fast out. But it really helps here. Big apexes, tight bends, and... The exit of the bends usually, as you can see by the track mat, is hooked up by quite a nice sizable straight. So if you're messy through the bends, you're going to get overtaken every straight. The toe is significant enough in this BMW M8. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned this is the fixed setup for the BMW 12.0 challenge. This race will be switching over in a matter of hours to this. So I wanted to get this video up so you guys could um, be the best you can be. Um, I tell you what, let's punch it out and change view. Let's just do some rear chase action. I'll keep the overlays there on the car. Okay, let's run through a lap. Nicely zoomed out. I'll stay here on the camera, talk to you while I let it run through. And I'll give you a nice zoomed out feel so you can get a, a nice bird's eye view of some of those braking markers we discussed. And I'll, I'll leave the um, mappings on there so you can see as well. Okay, so as I say, about 70. Grab onto this apex, and this is the apex I said slow in, fast out, because what matters is the exit of this bend. 
hug this apex and keep hugging it, but don't abuse it. Don't use too high. And you don't want to launch out too early because otherwise you're going to run off. Stay right. Nice big straight. Just before this concrete between the 100. Breaking a straight line. Second gear, nice and smooth. There you go, I lost a bit of the car there, but we didn't lose too much time. Nice and smooth here, full throttle. Stay left, break at the um, Marshall booth. Get on this apex more than I did. All over this apex, nice and big on the throttle, being brave. Break down to first gear, some trail braking to help you turn round. Back on the throttle for a moment. Very important bend of the race here. Uh, you lose a lot of time if you don't get this right. It's all about the exit. Get up the top of the hill, down into first gear. Looks like I broke a bit early there. Nice and trail braking to get your car around. Be smooth here with your inputs. You just want to keep the throttle in. That's your only priority here. And probably now the most important bend. Nice and smooth. Jump over that curb if you can. Straighten the car up. Second gear exit. Get that throttle clamped down and do not lift it. And how far you go across this pit line look, is up to you. The debate has been banging on for many years. Eat as much as you want. And I run very left here. This is just because it's a hot lap. There you go. Guys, I hope it helps. Down in the comments what time you do. Um, if you've got any advice for me, you know, I've got the race coming up. So um, I'm not perfect. Um, I'll do my best. Uh, I love this circuit. I love this car. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the fixed setup. But that's just because I had, uh, you know, plenty of, a couple of days to play with a custom setup and really get the car running exactly how I like it. But... But hey, this was uh, this was fun. I'm going to keep these hot lap videos up. And um, you guys have been uh, awesome with the support and seem to be behind them. So that makes me want to keep doing them. All right. Like if you like the video. Sub if you want to see the next one. Bell notification if you want to know when that one comes out. But other than that, um, if you comment, I will reply. Guys, thank you very much. Thanks for all the support. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.